this is where I spend the majority of my introverted time alone besides sleep. A few things have changed since my last desk setup. Uh, just like me, it has become even more unproductive, but definitely more comfortable. So I guess I'll show you guys a tour of my desk setup. The most important part of any desk setup is obviously the desk. You can't have a desk setup without a desk, right? My desk is pretty long and white, and that's about it. Honestly, I have no idea what this tabletop is called. I didn't buy it, so... I have been able to keep it decently clean. There are dents and scratches on it, but I just cover it up with a desk mat, like how I cover up my insecurities. The heart of my setup... Whoops, wrong line. <clears throat> The kidney of this setup is this powerful boy right here, the two-year-old Asus ROG laptop. This thing can handle stress better than I ever could. I'll list all of the specs here for the nerds that are interested. So it's running the Intel i7 and here is the centerpiece of the entire setup. I call this the big ass monitor. I feel like 15.6 inches is a bit too small for me, that's what she said. So I went for a 27 inch monitor that is 2K and 144 Hertz. A lot of people think that I have two computers, a laptop and a desktop, as if I could afford it. So I got this monitor secondhand for $5. This is an extended display running off the laptop via an HDMI cable. Highly recommend an external display for laptop users. You can be insanely productive by playing games on one screen and working on the other. Now you know why my upload schedule is so terrible. This is Bonk Cat number one, this is Bonk Cat number two, and this is Pikachu. This is the remote to turn them on. Pretty cool. It also turns me on. Not only does it look super cute, it's also pretty functional as an ambient light, and you can put it anywhere you want. It's up to you. I'm not the boss of you. You might think it is excessive to get two Bonk Cats, but what if one gets too lonely, you know? Tucked in the corner is a third generation iPad with a discontinued charging dock, which is also a speaker. I like to blast loud music on it to fill in the emptiness of my soul. Underneath all this is a monitorizer from Grovemade. They did send this over to me for free. We Asians love free stuffs. Along with this desk pad and a desk tray, which unfortunately I could not utilize because my fucking laptop is in the way. The wooden top matches the color accents on my desk. The desk pad gives a bit of structure to my desk and it allows me to tuck away my mouse and keyboard seamlessly underneath the monitorizer when I'm done using it. Speaking of mouse and keyboard, I'm still using the Ampro 2 mechanical keyboard with KO box brown switches and I replaced the original keycaps with pudding keycaps. For the mouse, my old G602's left click started to have a mind of its own after 5 years of intensive gaming and abuse. So I yeeted that thing out the window and replaced it with this MX Master 3. It is very ergonomic, I like fidgeting with the horizontal scroll wheel a lot and I got this mouse secondhand for $5. Now you might notice there is a second mouse and you're right. This is the glorious Model O wireless. It was my 20th birthday present that I bought for myself, secondhand, for $5. It is really light, weighing at just 69 grams. I only use this for gaming and it is ambidextrous, which is a fancy term for it works both for left hand and right handers. All my peripherals are wireless and they have decent battery life. They all use USB-C, so I only need to charge them once in a while before I go to bed. Speaking of wireless, let's talk about cable management. I think cable management is what makes or breaks a desk setup, and after some careful and delicate handicraft, most of the cables are hidden from sight. Because introverts like me don't spend time dealing with people, they deal with cables instead. The cables run up the corner, up to the power extensions on the top. Because the port selection on this laptop is very limited, if I needed to plug in a microphone, an external SSD, or an SD card, I use this USB-C hub from Verbatim. Moving on to the right side of my desk, there is a shelf where the rest of my stuffs go. 
On the bottom, there is a very cool looking speaker, an old film camera, and some Eyes One photo cards. I am definitely not crying that they disbanded. In the middle, there is a transparent drawer that I use to compartmentalize my other things and to satisfy my OCD. On the top, there are Rubik's cubes, many playing cards for display purposes. I do fidget with them when I have idle hands. There is a journal, notebooks where I doodle and write down all my ideas in life. I also stick notes on the side of the shelf to politely remind myself to do things like going to the gym and do actual work. And finally, here are my plants. Two of them are dead ones, just like my GPA. My mom got this terrarium for me, which is very cool. I think she wants me to go outside more. They say the color green boosts creativity, but I don't think so, since this is the third time that I'm making a desk setup video. The cool thing about terrariums is that it is self-sustaining. You can leave it alone and it'll be just fine. Just like me. But unlike me who can survive without seeing sunlight, it still needs sunlight to do something called photosynthesis in order to stay alive. But since now I have a piece of outdoors indoors, I have one more reason not to leave the comfort of my own room. Finally, we have this weird instrument on my desk. It is called an automaton and it produces the most annoying sound in the world. So if you want to annoy your parents or your roommate, you can get yourself one of these. Alright, so that is my not so productive, but definitely very comfortable uh, university desk setup. So school's coming up in a week, so I decided to spiffy up my workspace and prepare for the never ending online classes. Hope that this video inspired you or gave you a little bit of motivation to clean up your own workspace. Um, as usual, I'll leave everything that you just saw in the video in the description down below. Feel free to ask me anything in the comment section down below. It doesn't have to be about the video. I still read and reply to almost every single comment. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video and hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Bye. <laughs> I don't know why I'm on the ground, but the lighting is nice and this is where I normally contemplate about life.